I am Dr. Carlos Espinal, Director of the Global Health Consortium at the Robert Stemple College of Public Health and Social Work at FIU. The coronavirus is a virus that uh, used to be present in the last outbreak of the SARS uh, epidemics uh, in the past, but now it's a new virus that is uh, getting really concerned to the international health authorities because of the widespread of the of the infection and the potential for becoming a pandemic or, or a large epidemic uh, globally. The virus, uh, the, inf the infection has been really um, closed, uh, uh, monitored, and, uh, and what we have today is about uh, 625 cases uh, globally with a 4% uh, mortality, which is uh, really important and 25% of uh, the patients goes to the hospital, uh, to the intensive care unit. So this is something important because it's, uh, it's something that really uh, could, could, could explode, let's say, in a large epidemics and, and cause uh, important disease uh, globally as well. Yeah. It was discovered in 2019 and you see that the progression has been important in less than one month. And with the, with the travels and, uh, and uh, all the international connection has been already in many different countries, including the uh, US. And in Latin America, there are two or three cases that are under uh, evaluation at this moment. And with the coronavirus, uh, th there, is, there is low transmission between the community and uh, most of the cases have been imported cases in, in, uh, in many of the, the countries. So the transmission of the virus is still is, is uh, low uh, in person-to-person per -person contact. But as progress, as the, the, the epidemic progress, uh, it could increase the capacity of person-to-person uh, -person transmission. So this is why we have to watch the the virus and the infection very close and, and keep the strict measures to, to detect, more importantly, the, the cases. WHO has the, uh, an expert committee that is evaluating very carefully and following very close the, the progression of, the, of this outbreak. Uh, up to date, due to the strict measures that have been taken in China and uh, uh, internationally, and due to the low transmissibility person to person uh, uh, of, of this virus um, still is, is not um, a public health uh, international concern for, for this uh, outbreak. But that could change according to the situation in the near future. This is why we have to follow very close the, the, the infection and the pattern of the, the disease and the expansion. And if the virus increases the transmissibility person to person, then uh, that, that could change the whole picture because again, 4% mortality and 25% of uh, hospitalization uh, could be a very large number when, when we have a, an outbreak that is spreading all over the place. It's very difficult at this moment really to, 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 to say the origin of, of, the, of this outbreak. It could be, as we said, in the, in the food market for, for seafood, uh, with seafood, now the snakes, but uh, we need more, more research and to, to really find out where the source of this new virus uh, came from. It's, it's too early to, to say that. And this is uh, normal with those viruses, like uh, the coronavirus, and even like the, the flu pandemic that we don't know most of the time where they originate. In flu pandemic, we have the, the capacity to predict now that is uh, uh, coming from, from avian uh, flu, and uh, in, mostly in, in China where, where the, the flu pandemic strains uh, originated, most, most of them. But with the coronavirus, it still is too early to, to say where the, the source uh, is, uh, is uh, at, at the present time. At this moment, there is no way to, to prevent the, the, I mean, it's possible to prevent the transmission of the virus, 
by cleaning uh, and washing your hands and, uh, and covering well when you sneeze and cough and so on. And, uh, and, uh, but but uh, really to, to prevent the origin of this uh, Viruses is extremely difficult because we don't know the, the the source. Only after we have the outbreak, then we come we go back and study the potential sources. But it's, it's extremely difficult. This is why the most important uh, strategy today is uh, disease surveillance and early identification, as as the Chinese did. They did a fantastic job because they even discovered and they developed diagnosis to be able to detect the virus within the, the three weeks after the first cases of pneumonia and death from, for the coronavirus. So it was, was a fantastic uh, uh, scientific job that they did in China to be able to do an early detection of, the, of this uh, uh, new virus.